Hi friends, welcome back to JWT authentication tutorial. So last we have installed the Laravel application and this is running and configure and install the JWT authentication. So now we need to configure the model and we need to save the auth guard. Okay. So now just go inside the browser and let's use the quick start section. So I'm closing this. It's not required for now and here you can see the configuration so update your model so as per the jw authentication document so we need to configure our model so just go inside the user model so just go visual studio code and inside the app you will get the model folder so inside the model you will get the default model that is the user model so it's getting when you created this application and let's use the contracts jwt subject okay so just copy this and let's use inside our model so we need to use these things and the next thing so to use this contract jwt subjects on your user model it's required the two methods that is the jwt get and defer method and get jwt custom claims method okay so let's copy this and just paste this inside your user model so get gwt identifier and the next things the get gwt custom claims so all are set so our user model is set so now we need to configure the guards so just go inside the config again and just go inside the auth.php so here you can see that is the default guard is web I just want to change this API so basically we will create API for authentication and so further if you want to use suppose angular or any others front-end application you can use this so basically we will create an API so I want to say the default guard is API's and let's create an API so just create your API and let's create so first of all we need guard is api so you can check here from this so driver is jwt and provider is users okay and here we are using the laravel 8 version and by default we are getting the hash here so this is the hash factory and has api tokens so for this we need to make by default is false so just write here false okay so our set so authentication part is done and user configuration done so we need to go to the next part so we need to create a controller and we will create some methods that is login register logout option and we'll test through the postman okay so please like and subscribe this channel for upcoming videos so we'll come back very soon thanks for watching this video have a good day